Okay, now we're just going to look at some common truss designs. Um, the four that I'm going to try and focus on, well, the three that I'm going to focus on is Pratt, Howe, and Warren. And, uh, you know, I may touch on the K truss just because I think it looks cool, but uh, that's tentative to how much time I have. So let's just start off with the Pratt because that's probably one of the more common uh, trend in here. So let's say you have two points being held. Um, and just put wheels on one of them, that way, you know, we don't have any binding that does occur. Now we just kind of backtrack it. Now this is going to be our general shape. Now the thing with Pratt is that he, he liked, what I feel is he had a lot of, uh, well, at least one redundancy, and I just feel like it's for aesthetic reasons, but... Um, you know, uh, I'm not the, maybe there's more of a practical reasoning or whatnot, but these members that go straight down into essentially no load. So, really redundant in my mind. But let me just draw it for you. Down right, then he goes up. Then he goes diagonal again. Just towards the middle, that's all he does. That's his design. And I have no, like, there's no pattern other than the fact that that you got to get to the center. Other than that, there's no like, limitation on how many of this design that you can do. So some comments that I might make about this design, um, and I'll, let me put its name, it's Pratt, P-R-A-T-T, -T. I think there's two T's. So um, one thing that I might add is that first of all with this design do you feel that this member is necessary of course it is it's going right to the joint right and same thing with this member okay well what about this member that member is important for a few reasons um, mostly I just feel like if there was a force being applied to the top it brings it directly down so I really feel like there is a justification for having that one. However, <clears throat> the other two that I might bring an argument about, so let me just put okay. Not great, but okay. L what about this? What about this point? What if we were to just uh, look at that joint for a moment? What kind of forces do you think that, that th this member, this vertical member, could even handle? Because if you do an analysis of that point, basically, we know that if I just call this A and this B, we know A must equal B. The force is A must equal B. But this C force, or whatever you want to call it, we know that that C force equals zero because there's no opposing force. So you know what I call that? I call that a waste of material. That's what I call it. Now, the thing is, there are other considerations when uh, deflection and aesthetics and just a bunch of different varying things. But there are reasons to have it, even structural reasons, but I'm just saying that there is a consideration there that you may have some quote-unquote redundancies. So, let me move on. Uh, let's go on to the next one that I had mentioned. Let me draw it real quick. We're going to draw it. So, just excuse the bad drawing. We're going to get this going. Good. Okay, now, this design is quite similar. Uh, basically, it's down and upright and down and upright. This one's the exact off Down, up left, down, up left down, up left, let's just say that's the center, something like that, okay? We have a similar situation. First off, you, we have the these corner members, I mean these edge members, which are perfectly, uh, you, they're perfectly justifiable. Same thing with, you know, any other member. The one that I have an argument with, and I really do, is here. 
And I know that it's a similar situation to what was in Pratt, but the thing is, this is another one of these zero force members, so I could just put a little X through it or whatnot. You could actually get rid of the various X Xed members and be probably okay. Just for all purposes of vector statics, that is redundant. Well, anyway, that, but you will see that design, and there is logic behind it, so don't just go bashing all the civils, because they do have their reasons. Um, let's go to Warren, which he's my kind of guy. Uh, let me draw that real quick. Warren had this idea that material costs money. And uh, they found out that is correct. Someone found that out. And basically, all he does now is he says, hey, we don't need any of those zero force members. Let's just go up and down and fill this baby up. Like so. And consequently, you'll see more of this design than probably the other two. Although, I, I wouldn't doubt that you'd see the other kind. So anyway, um, I really wanted to get to the K-Trusses because I just think it looks cool. But uh, obviously, not. there's not a whole lot of point in, in, in it. If we look at the K-Truss... Let me get to drawing it again. The K truss obviously gets its name from its shape. And you'll think it kind of looks cool. First of all, it still has these end trusses and it still has a point. Oh, that's actually on wheels. Remember, these are on wheels. So we don't get any binding. So the right one's on wheels. Don't forget that. But um, what we have is you have it go straight down and straight down, okay? What you need to do is make little Ks. K, K, down. K, K. See, it's just like little Ks. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it's just my fascination with the with the design. It really looks for lack of a better word, beautiful. Uh, I think that it will, um, it really makes the the design stick out. There is some a lot of interaction here in the middle, and I consider that good. There's a lot of support right in the middle where you might consider the highest forces, right? But um, just, I mean, if you look at maybe um, right here, you have a zero force, zero force, zero force. You know, there's there's a few zero force locations. These two redundancies are fairly small because the length of that member where the redundancy, the, the length of the zero force member is actually half as short as the other design. So, in a sense, it, I would argue that this is probably a better design than the other ones that that have uh, other than the Warren. I, I would say it's probably one of the best designs out of the the previous three. So, anyway, um, let's just move on to something that a little bit more tangible, and we'll get some some example. So I'll see you in the next video.